In this video, I'll show you a few ways to use an annotated GDS file, AGF or AGDS. If you need to know how to create one of these files, please see the related video shown here on the screen. I'll use DesignRev to view the annotated GDS file. I'll bring it up in the same fashion that I would a regular uh, GDS file. An important difference between the original GDS file and the annotated GDS file is that the layer numbers are quite different. In order to know which data is on which layer, I'll use the uh, layer name file that was created when the annotated GDS file was created. Those were both covered in a separate video. The menu choice is for layer and load input SVRF layer names is the uh, technique we'll use to bring that layer name mapping file in. In order to show some differences between the annotated GDS file and the original layout, um, I'll bring up the original layout in this same design rev session so that I can alternate from one to the other. Here's an interesting location in the annotated GDS file. I'm going to select this uh, piece of metal one. We see it belongs to a cell called rests under network inside uh, the uh, top level cell. If I switch over to the original design and uh, go to the same area, selecting the metal one shows the original layout was uh, formed from uh, several different uh, smaller pieces of metal one and the uh, location hierarchically is actually different. Now we'll explore hierarchical device location. Zooming into some individual devices showing that they exist at level zero of the top level of the annotated GDS file. And now back to the original design, same area of those devices, they don't show at level zero or level one or even level two. They show here in the original design at level three. You may recall that we found these devices at the top level of the annotated GDS file. This means the devices were ultimately extracted and netlisted at the top level. This is the kind of thing that makes annotated GDS files so handy. We can see exactly how LVS actually ended up working with the devices and connectivity layers hierarchically. This is Chris Falcom with Mentor Graphics Global Support and Services. If you have comments on this video or ideas for other videos, please let us know. Thanks.